This meeting is here by call to order. I would like to acknowledge the president.
workers. So, turuan ho sila ng uh, livelihood, bigyan ho sila ng ibang pagkakakitaan para hindi naman ho suddenly mawala ho sila ng trabaho kasi doon po talaga yung resistance na mawala ng trabaho. So, um, again, Mr. Chair, thank you very much for hearing this bill. And uh, like I said, it's the first time last New Year's to see a country that is smoke-free. First time when, I, when we all woke up January 1st, we can see the mountains of Sierra Madre and the mountains of Rizal. Uh, that was um, un never seen before no? during uh, uh, the time when firecrackers are still allowed. And with political will, we can see that it's possible. No? Because before, the, those ones who are contradicting this is saying this is part of culture and tradition, but it took a COVID-19 to, uh, to show everyone that culture and tradition could be change for the betterment of society. So thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Wynn Gatsalian, uh, who is uh, one of the authors. Itong apat na bills ngayon na itatakil natin. And uh, to, to, to respond to the uh, statement of Senator Gatsalian, eh, yun pala, pag Pasko at uh, New Year, sila sa, sa uh, Balenzuela, ay kuha na yung ang tawag nito naghihintay na kinakabahan na kung uh, gaano kalaki ano kadlaki ang sunog na mangyayari gaano kadami ang mapuputulan ng kamay o daliri itong panahon na ito samantalang kami doon sa Davao pag uh, Christmas at New Year sabi sabi namin na wala na boring naman itong ating New Year pero <laughs> Christmas walang putukan pero very safe ang lahat very safe kami lahat doon so yung pulis namin doon Pag Christmas at New Year, uh, nandoon sa kalakala mga pamilya, nagsiselebrate dahil hindi kagaya dito na nagbabantay, alerto palagi at uh, magre-react pag magre sa mga sunog, sa mga putukan, ganun. So, yun po yung benefits na nakukuha natin sa ganong uh, sistema. But anyway, hindi naman total uh, uh, ban talaga yung ating advocate dito. Itong apat na bills na ito na itatakil natin ay Walang nagsasabi dahil dito na itutal ban talaga. Uh, yun nga lang, uh, kailangan ang paputok daw ay doon ipaputok sa designated uh, uh, pyrotechnics uh, uh, area uh, to be identified by the local government units at uh, to be uh, supervised by uh, uh, technically skilled and uh, licensed by the PNP EO na mga uh, technicians para talaga safe tayong lahat. So, uh, from here, uh, we would like to hear some opening statements coming from uh, sa, meron kayo? Ngayong nandito ngayon? Meron kayong ipipresent? Ah, okay. So, sinong mauna sa inyo? Okay, we, we'll hear from uh, Police Brigadier General Romel Mitra, the Chief of Firearms and Explosives Office of the PNP. Thank you, sir. You have the floor. To our good Senator, Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, sir, the Chair of Committee of Public Order and Dangerous Drugs, to Senator Winti Gachadian, sir, uh, those uh, in the virtual uh, space, uh, Everybody here, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Police Brigadier General uh, Romil Mitra, the Chief of the Paramus Explosive Office. As you can see, sir, the Paramus Explosive Office is the office mandated by law to regulate the manufacture, distribution, and sale of uh, firecrackers. It has been a Filipino tradition to use firecrackers and other pyrotechnic devices to celebrate events of personal, religious, cultural, and national importance. Fireworks industry has a significant contribution in the economy of the country. It promotes tourism and as a continuing and additional source of livelihood for many Filipinos, especially this time of pandemic. However, in every celebration of New Year in the country, we cannot discount the injuries caused by fireworks that destroys the life and limbs of some Filipinos, most especially among children. 
The passage of RA 7183 and its revised implementing rules and regulations are designed to regulate the manufacture, distribution, and sale of firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices by giving licenses and permits for the fireworks industry stakeholders compliant with the national standard rules and regulation set forth by the PNP FEO. Whereas the said law authorizes the PNP through the chief PNP to determine what constitute prohibited firecrackers and other py pyrotechnic devices. Executive order number 28 was issued to confine the use of firecrackers only inside the community fireworks display zone or firecracker zone while the memorandum order number 31 was issued to strictly Im implement the laws of fireworks reiterating the conduct of inspections to make sure that manufacturers retailers and dealers of fireworks comply with all policies rules and regulation including republic act 71183 or an act regulating the sale manufacture and use of firecrackers and other pyrotechnic devices. It also reiterates the PNP's power to confiscate and destroy prohibited fireworks and cancel or revoke licenses and permits given to those violating regulations of fireworks. The legislative body proposes a Senate Bill number 493, Senate Bill 517, Senate Bill 724, and Senate Bill 906 in order to strengthen the implementation of laws on firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices and to achieve the ultimate goal of the government the zero firecrackers related injuries during the celebration of yuletide seasons in the country in general the tenets of the senate bill 493 517 724 and 906 have a very good intentions and will be contributory towards securing the lives and limbs of the Filipino people and furthering public safety and security. The provisions of Senate Bill 724, an act banning the sale, distribution, and use of firecrackers and other pyr pyrotechnic devices, providing penalties for violation thereof, is the simplest version, and as such, the law enforcement can actually directly adopt it. Specifically for uh, Senate Bill 724, before any use of firecrackers, fireworks, or other py pyrotechnic devices for display, a special permit from the PNP is required, and such display must be allowed by the concerned local government unit. For Senate Bill 493, the use is only allowed in LDU designated and authorized areas and undertaken by technical expert professionals on the use of firecrackers. For Senate Bill 517, enhanced safety guidelines have been provided, such as designation of fireworks display area, wherein display shall be done in a specified occasion or event with a PNP licensed person, individual residential use of firecrackers is not allowed. The contents of uh, Senate Bill number 906, an act penalizing individuals who sell, give, who sell, give, or anyway share any type of fireworks or firecrackers to minor, minor children, 15 years old and below. Uh, of course, sir, the, most of the victims of these uh, firecrackers are uh, children, as mentioned well ago by our good senator, uh, Senator Gachele, sir. Uh, actually, uh, the fireworks-related uh, incident for the past five years shows that almost 80% of the victims were caused by firecrackers. It severely damaged, uh, were more serious, resulting to deaths, amputation on the body parts of the victims. Uh, mostly these are children. That's all your honor, and uh, thank you, sir, and good morning. Thank you, General Mitra. Uh, from, uh, you have the floor, uh, General Imbang. Yes, sir. Fire protection. Uh, your honors, good morning. 
Uh, firework shows have been more than just an expression of festivity. Neither have they merely stood as means of warding off good, bad vibes and negativity. Palpably, they have developed from being fragments of history and culture to being the life and blood of the people in this kind of industry. In fact, I myself grew up playing Quitis, Watusi, Judas Belt, Luces, and even the so-called El Diablo. Despite the annually recurring accidents and mishaps caused by pyrotechnics, we persisted in this way of life as the use of fi these fireworks are allowed under Republic Act 7183. But my perspective changed when I became a firefighter. Why I entered the fire service back in our PCINP days and throughout my stint in the operations, I personally witnessed folks and children lost an arm, a foot, an eye, and worst, a home or a loved one. And I found it very tragic. Based from the data collected from the years 2018 to 2020 alone, we recorded 22 fire incidents in 2018, 18, resulting to damages totaling to Philippine peso 726,000. A million and one injured. For 2019, there were 23 fire incidents with damages approximately equivalent to 782,000. Uh, let me correct the first uh, figure. Uh, in 2018, it was 726,000. Uh, there was a clerical error, Your Honors. And for 2019, we have registered uh, 782,405 with four injured and one four dead. While in 2020, there were 27 fire incidents with uh, 988,200 worth of damages and three injured. Excuse me, uh, Joe. Uh, when you say number of incidents, anong kinukover niya na period? Uh, the whole year, Your Honor. Ah, the whole year? Yes, the whole sir. year, yan. Akala yes, ko sir. Christmas at New Year lang yan. No, sir. Whole year? Yes, sir. Thank you, uh, thank you. And these figures may take only a minute percentage from the total number of fire incidents in the country in a year. But what we are talking about here is still homes burnt and lives taken, which I believe should not be dealt with faintly. The incidents may be caused by defects in the firecrackers itself, one which is attributable to the manufacturer or may be precipitated by the wrong use of handling of end users. Still, the fact stands that the safety of our people are at risk. An audacious response to this concern can be seen by this example set by the president, President Rodrigo Roba Duterte himself, when he was still the mayor of Davao. As may be recalled, he imposed a firecracker ban in Davao City in 2002. And sifting through our records, from the years 2002 to 2018, there had only been one reported fire incident in the, in the city caused by the pyrotechnics. On the part of the Bureau of Fire Protection, we have been advocating each year our OPLAN IWAS Paputok activity. It is an awareness campaign done nationwide to educate the community on the deleterious effects of the firecracker accidents in the hope of encouraging them to use alternative ways to do festivities. Aside from this, during holiday seasons, we deploy roving firemen to respond quickly to incidents and look after the safety of the rejoicing households. As we repeatedly affirm, the ultimate vision of the Bureau of Fire Protection is to achieve a fire-safe nation. It is with, by this common selfless goal that we think it is high time that we amend our existing law on firecrackers, and we commend and support our noble legislators for this proposed amendments. We agree that there must be a stricter control and regulation of the manufacture, sale, and use of pyrotechnics to the point of banning them. Proper permitting and licensing mechanisms must be installed so as to ensure that authorized manufacturers abide by our fire safety requirements. As to the use, we are convinced that fireworks display shall only be done in designated areas and upon approval and permit from the PNP and other concerned agencies. All the more reasons that, we sale of fire, that the sale of firecrackers to the fragile component of the society, our minors, should be detested. In lieu of the parties that may be affected by, the, by these measures, we support the proposal of Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa to offer alternative livelihood programs uh, to the registered firecracker manufacturers, retailers, 
and their uh, workers, as well as the statement of Senator uh, Gachalian, sir, that you have uh, pronounced earlier. If other countries are effective in their firecracker ban laws like Canada, Hong Kong, Ireland, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, Vietnam, and some cities in China, the Bureau thinks this will be an equally sound policy for our country. While we cannot turn a blind eye to the lucrative business the firecracker industry has evolved into and how many families it was able to, fe to, to feed, we cannot simply ignore the lives and properties it destroyed throughout the years and the many more households it can put in the risk of danger if we do not act now. As I end this speech, allow me to share also the experience of the Bureau of Fire Protection during uh, the New Year celebration of the year 2020. And let me share and announce that we have registered zero fire incident that is uh, attributable to fire pyrotechnics. But the records that we have shared were registered the whole year round, Your Honors. But for 2020 celebration of the New Year, we have registered zero uh, fire incident. I want to thank our legislator for crafting these proposed legislations. And in behalf of the Bureau, I would like to extend our support to your noble intents. Once again, good morning, sir. Thank you, uh, General Imbang, uh, for that uh, information. Uh, before we proceed, I would like to acknowledge the attendance of Attorney Teddy Raval of the Bureau of Customs, Attorney Rother Martinez of the Bureau of Customs, Ms. Marlene Alpidi of PPMDAI, Attorney Aaron Bailey Santos, Bulacan Provincial Legal Office. From here, uh, we'd like to hear from uh, Yusek Castillo of uh, DTI. Ma'am, uh, you have the floor. Yusek Castillo, ma'am, you're, you're on mute. Paki okay, unmute, ma'am. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Mama. You have the floor. Yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, may I have, I'm so sorry, may I have um, just one minute, Mr. Chair, I'm in another meeting with Senator Pimentel. He's talking to me right now. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> may I have uh, just a minute, Mr. Chair, I'm so sorry. Yeah, go ahead, uh, just, uh, we will wait for you. Yes, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Chair, I'm so sorry. Mr. Chair, uh, while sorry. waiting. Yes, yeah, sir. Go I'm going to make the presentation now, sir. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, so, sino yung naga naga uh, voice out? Hindi ko makita. Yes, sir. Sino yun? May may, may nag voice out while waiting. Habang kinakausap mo si Senator Coco Pimentel, uh, Yusek Ruth Castillo, uh, we'll give the floor to oh, Yusek Echeverri. Okay, yes, Yusek Echeverri, you have the floor. Sir, Balikan ka namin, ma'am. Balikan ka namin. Uh, after mag-usap kayo ni Sintro Coco Pimentel. Okay. I, I'm done now, Mr. Chair. I can make the presentation already. Ah, ready ka na? Ready ka na? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank okay, you. Okay, okay. Uh, and my apologies, Mr. Chair. Um, okay. I will make a presentation on some of the inputs of the DTI Consumer Protection Group on the Senate bills involving fireworks and firecrackers, Mr. Chair. We understand that there are four currently uh, pending with the committee, and we fully support all of them, Mr. Chair, except that, of course, we will have some comments and uh, probably uh, inputs that may be considered by the committee, Mr. Chair. So um, on the bills by Senator Vicente Soto and, of course, yours, uh, your good self, Mr. Chair, and Senator Gachalian, and also Senator Nancy Pinay. Uh, we fully support them, uh, but we also recommend that the terms firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices be defined, Mr. Chair, 
um, we understand that not many people would know the difference between a fire, fire firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices. Pyrotechnic devices may all may also be called fireworks, but because these uh, create sound and uh, visuals or signs, but firecrackers only make sound um, when it is lit. And then, Mr. Chair, we also recommend that they are, that they be treated separately or uh, distinctly, Mr. Chair, because these two products are uh, actually uh, entirely different. Um, as I have mentioned earlier, the fireworks uh, create sights and sound spectacles. These are also the pyrotechnic device. And then firecrackers, when lit, only create an explosion or a loud, loud bang or a loud sound. Um, and then, Mr. Chair, we also um, we also support the president that instead of totally banning firecrackers, maybe we can allow uh, firecra fireworks uh, or firecrackers in a limited activity, uh, particularly in designated areas, either by the national government or the local government units through the chief executives. And then the regulation, of course, of the manufacturer import, uh, manufacturers, importers, sellers, or distributors should also be uh, strictly regulated with uh, Mr. Chair, subject, of course, to some conditions. And then pyrotechnic devices um, or firecrackers should be prohibited as uh, for those that endanger the life and property of both the sellers and buyers. Um, we also support penalizing, Mr. Chair, the sellers or those who share firecrackers to children uh, between uh, uh, 15 years old and below. Because uh, you have mentioned earlier that the that the injuries are most commonly caused to 10 years old and between 10 years old and 14 years old, Mr. Chair. So it is a wonder uh, also for us in DTI why. Uh, children are allowed to use firecrackers or um, fireworks or other pyrotechnic devices. So um, a proposed provision, Mr. Chair, on Section 4 of Senate Bill 493, uh, that we include uh, this provision, this, this phrase, and or pyrotechnic devices to include them, Mr. Chair, in the bill. And then in Senate Bill 517, we also propose to include the word uncertified, uh, substandard, and prohibited fireworks, Mr. Chair, that contain explosive content um, in any manner should be strictly prohibited. It report, Mr. Chair, highlighted in this uh, on, on the slide, in any manner should be strictly prohibited. And then in Senate Bill 724, Mr. Chair, we, pro we propose also that for class one, to class three, uh, fireworks certified. These should only include fireworks that are certified by the DTI Bureau of Philippine Standards, and it should be allowed. Mr. Chair, unknown to many, the DTI has, uh, well, fireworks have a Philippine national standard promulgated by the Bureau of Philippine Standards in the DTI. Um, we have classified, uh, there are classifications of fireworks such as those that are very low hazard, low hazard, uh, until you will see here that it reaches class four or the high hazard um, fireworks or pyrotechnic devices, Mr. Chair. And then in the next slide here, you will see the classifications or the types of fireworks um, that are classified respectively as to class one up to class four. Um, class one are those that create uh, uh, a loud sound without imposing any or the least danger to the user while uh, comparing it to the class four. These are highly uh, dangerous and should be used only by experts or professionals um, to handle pyro such pyrotechnic devices. There are requirements for labeling and uh, marking, Mr. Chair, on fireworks. Um, that should be clearly printed on a single colored background in each package of each firework. The name of the firework should be indicated, the classification and intended use, whether it's indoor or outdoor, and then the brand or trade name, 
the name of the manufacturer, Mr. Chair, is very important because we will need traceability, of course, and we would need to be able to know who is who, manufa who manufactured the product and who should be held responsible should anything, uh, should any accident be caused by such firework. The words made in the Philippines should also be there. And then such warnings and precautionary signs that uh, may be appropriate uh, to be printed on the packaging of such fireworks, Mr. Chair. And of course, the Philippine Standard quality mark with the license number issued by the Bureau of Philippine Standards. Uh, here are some samples of appropriate labels that should be uh, printed or pasted on each uh, firework or pyrotechnic device, Mr. Chair. Party poppers, these are categorized or classified as type one or class one. And then uh, there should be instructions to use and then the effects expected once the, the device is used. And then also for fountains, uh, it says a warning not to hold it. And then there should be, of course, instructions as well and the expected effects that will be caused um, upon, upon lighting it up. And then the Bureau of Philippine Standards, uh, as I mentioned earlier, has put uh, fireworks under a mandatory certification scheme. That is why, Mr. Chair, every, every year we also join the Department of Health and the Philippine National Police in monitoring uh, fireworks in the retail market as well as enforcing uh, the bans on, on them. We also um, confiscate fireworks that we see in the market that are not certified by the Bureau of Philippine Standards because these are considered as illegitimate goods that are being sold in the market, Mr. Chair, considering that there are Philippine national standards that should be complied with by all manufacturers. So under Republic Act 7183, um, that was approved in uh, in January 1992. This is what we follow, and uh, it provides for the regulation and control of the manufacture, sale, and distribution of these fireworks, Mr. Chair. Um, importation, of course, of chemicals and explosive ingredients is strictly prohibited under this law. So there can be no imported fireworks in the Philippine market or cannot be used in, in the Philippines, Mr. Chair. If these are in, imported, these will be considered as um, contraband or illegal products. Import commodity clearance can also never be found on fireworks that are found in the uh, Philippine retail market because import commodity clearance by the term itself is issued by the uh, Philippine national standards for products that are imported uh, from other countries as finished products or manufactured in, in foreign countries, Mr. Chair, and sold here in the Philippines. So there can be no ICC sticker uh, on, on fireworks that you will find in the Philippine market. The, what do you need to, to look for uh, for buyers of uh, fireworks in the Philippines is the PS mark or the uh, uh, Philippine standard mark um, printed on the packaging or the of, of fireworks. This is per memorandum circular number 20-02. And uh, we have a list, uh, we have added fireworks as a uh, product under the mandatory certification scheme. There are also, you will see here, there were there are also um, PNA, several Philippine national standards uh, on fireworks, Mr. Chair, that we are supposed to uh, follow as manufacturers and that these are imposed by the Bureau of Philippine Standards under the mandatory certification scheme. Every manufacturer, Mr. Chair, every legitimate manufacturer in the Philippines should apply for a Philippine standard quality certification mark from the BPS DTI. Um, so those that do not apply or th those that are not issued the PS uh, certification by the DTI, Mr. Chair, should not sell their products in the retail market. As of today, as we speak, Mr. Chair, there are only three uh, fireworks manufacturers in the Philippines that have existing licenses uh, from the Bureau of Philippine Standards, except uh, Tiger, Tiger Fireworks that has expired, uh, whose license has expired in December 2020. And I understand that the 
uh, application for renewal is already filed with the Bureau of Philippine Standards. So last December, Mr. Chair, when we were monitoring uh, fireworks in the retail market with the police and the Department of Health and other law enforcement agencies like um, the, the local government units as well, Mr. Chair, uh, we have been saying that there are only three licensed manufacturers and these are the only products that you should that they should find in the market and those that they they should buy. We highly discourage people uh, from buying fireworks, Mr. Chair, that are not cer certified by the DTI because we do not know of its safety. We do not know how it explodes. We do not know. Uh, we cannot guarantee the safety of the user of these fireworks, Mr. Chair. So to the sellers, we also advise them to make sure that they follow the law. And we understand that there are also enumerations um, in the PNP uh, issuances as to what fireworks they should, uh, the, what, sh what fireworks are prohibited. So to the sellers, we issue the warnings. Uh, we tell them that they cannot just sell uh, fireworks that are not certified by DTI specially. And then, of course, to the buyers, they should only buy those with PS marks issued by the DTI. They will be assured of the product quality and safety if they find these markings uh, on the fireworks that they buy. Um, this is a continuing effort on the part of DTI together with the DOH, Mr. Chair. We have joined them in their initiative of IWAS Paputop. And we have advised the, uh, the government agencies concerned also that there are uh, there are licenses issued by the DTI. Once we issue the PS certification mark, it means, Mr. Chair, that the product or the manufactured, the finished product has complied with the Philippine national standard uh, uh, promulgated by the DTI, Mr. Chair. So um, as to the banning of the of the, the these products, Mr. Chair, we do not concur to the total banning, but we will support uh, the initiative to to ban only those that are not certified or those that not, did not pass the Philippine standard um, mark, or also to allow community uh, fireworks displays, Mr. Chair, in designated areas, uh, either by the local government units or the national government, Mr. Chair. That is all for DTI. Thank you for the opportunity, Mr. Chair. Panaming salamat po. Thank you, uh, Yusik uh, Ruth Castillo. Um, before uh, Senator Gatsalian will uh, uh, ask his questions, uh, ano nga yung, uh, what, what was your uh, legal basis doon sa yung banning the import of uh, firecrackers and pyrotechnics? Is that a law? Uh, ano yung batas na yun, ma'am? May sinabi ka kanina? Si Bin 183. Ah, thank you. Andito na. Salamat, salamat ma'am, salamat. You have thank the floor, uh, Senator Gatsalian. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I, have a qu I have some questions to Yusef Castello, no? and these are just basic questions. Uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, the Philippines has a Philippine uh, national standard for firecrackers. And the uh, theory here, the concept here, Yusek, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the standards are supposed to make the firecracker safe or the manufacturer of firecrackers safe. Tama po ba, Yusek? Yes, Yusek, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Yes, and then yes the, sir. And the, yes, Mr. And then Chair. you mentioned... And then you mentioned earlier, oh, well, let's go to that. So if that is the case, how come we still have a lot of accidents? Where are the accidents coming from? Because if we have standards to make products safe for our consumers to use, so why then we have, do we have accidents um, every New Year's? Um, Mr. Chair, uh, like you have mentioned earlier, in Bulacan, there are a lot of backyard uh, producers of fireworks. Also in the Visayas, I understand there are some in Cebu as well. Um, these are the manufacturers that are not certified by the DTI, but you will find their products in the market. For some reason, their, their products find their way, Mr. Chair, in the retail market. 
these are the ones that are not tested by DTI or not certified, Mr. Chair. Well, obviously, Yusek, we all know that it's being tolerated by um, the local officials as well as the local um, uh, the local enforcement agencies there. Um, because we all know that if they don't have any licenses or certifications, they cannot operate. They should be closed down. Tama po ba? Uh, you said? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair. Is that, is what, that a uh, fair assumption? Uh, in the DTI, Mr. Chair, if they do not have existing licenses, first, the manufacturer cannot produce until they are certified. Uh, we test the products first before we issue the certification. And then in the retail market, Mr. Chair, they are not allowed to sell. They should not sell products that are not certified, Mr. Chair. So, but there is tolerance, diba? because it's happening right now. Eh? The backyard industries are being tolerated. The sale and purchase are being tolerated. So there, there's tolerance to, to, um, to this uh, activity. So why is there tolerance? Why is there, even though it's, uh, it's unsafe and year in, year out, we're showing pictures where he was Papa talk uh, advocacy. Why is it being tolerated? What's the reason for that? Um, Mr. Chair, I, I don't know if it should come from me, but um, I uh, improper use, of course, of the the fireworks and then the improper selling. Um, but these are, yes, I I would say, Mr. Chair, that this is tolerated, and we we probably would need to enforce uh, more or intensify in enforcement, Mr. Chair. Well, obviously, you said the uh, one of the causes I think is the uh, livelihood aspect. No, um, uh, the local officials and local enforcement agencies are tolerating this because of livelihood. And uh, since it's a once a year type of uh, bonanza, um, the local officials are tolerating it. And uh, my my point here is. Um, Yusek, do you have any number on how many backyard, to, to you and also to uh, probably to BFP, how many backyard uh, industries do we have that manufactures um, firecrackers? Because uh, in, in, I, I uh, do acknowledge that we also need to make sure that they transition out into something more uh, some, something more safe or more stable in terms of livelihood. So it's not only uh, because what what we're trying to do here is not only ban, but also making sure that uh, we have minimal displacements, and uh, we don't want a scenario wherein they will go underground. Well, they're 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 actually open underground, no. But uh, with this bill, they might go underground, underground. So my, my question is, do you have the number of these backyard industries? And the same question to BFP. So we, we will know what type of um, transition program or livelihood program we can give in order for this uh, backyard industry to uh, transition out of um, the manufacture of fireworks, illegal fireworks. Uh, Mr. Chair, we can... If we can be allowed to just give an approximation, Mr. Chair, there are only around six, less than 10 uh, legitimate fireworks manufacturers in the Philippines. These are the ones that have been uh, licensed by the Bureau of Philippine Standards, but the licenses expire, Mr. Chair. So when they are expired and they have not renewed yet, they are considered unlicensed. But these are the ones that apply with the DTI. And there are around more than 30 uh, backyard manufacturers, Mr. Chair. How many backyard? Um, around thirty, Mr. Chair. Three there zero. A lot in yes, Mr. Chair. I think it's more than that. Eh? No, I don't think yes, it's going. Mr. It's Chair. only thirty. I, I know it's hard to. A... I I know it's very hard to uh, estimate because they're backyard. No, but there must be some form of guesstimate just to guide us on on uh, what type of transition program we should be. Uh, um, uh, giving this uh, backyard industries. So. Yes, Mr. Chair, at least 30. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may, 
chair, uh, there is a fireworks association in Bulacan. Um, and these, uh, this is composed of big ones who are willing to help the small ones transition into a legitimate fireworks manufacturing business, Mr. Chair. Um, I will follow up with them what happened to their initiative to help the smaller ones, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, with your permission, maybe we can ask uh, BFP if they have any guesstimates on those uh, backyard. Yeah, uh, your honors. BFP or PNP? Uh, yeah. uh, anyway, uh, on the part of the BFP, we don't have any record as to a backyard, but as to the legitimate uh, number of businesses engaged in manufacturing, selling of firecrackers, we have a total number of 2,442 nationwide, your honors. Mr. Chairman, with the uh, indulgence of our distinguished colleague, may I just... Yeah, yeah. Uh, be before you say something, uh, Senator uh, Joel Villanueva, let me acknowledge you first, your uh, participation. Thank you for... Because alam kong uh, your place, uh, Bukawi, Bulacan, is uh, very much uh, involved in this uh, issue. So we would like to hear from you, if, uh, if you may. Thank you. You have the floor, Senator Joel Villanueva. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you to my uh, distinguished colleague, uh, Senator uh, Win Gachera. I would just like to interject on uh, on what the gentleman from Valenzuela was uh, uh, trying to raise here, and uh, I think it's very legitimate. And uh, uh, but unfortunately, we, we couldn't get the, the the figures. Is that correct? And did we invite the uh, Fireworks Association, who uh, who could probably. Uh, uh, shed light to what we are uh, talking about because uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, as you mentioned this representation came from the uh, perceived to be and we claim to be the fireworks capital of the country but uh, unfortunately uh, since time immemorial we don't get much uh, uh, support coming from the national government from uh, uh, from different agencies of our uh, uh, government uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm very much uh, willing to listen and uh, find out how we will be able to help our kababayan, specifically those who will be affected in the industry, which we all uh, believe somehow that it's, it's getting there and that it, it, it's part of the uh, so-called sunset industry. But unfortunately, we, we don't know, we, we couldn't get the right data, Mr. Mr. Chairman. If you're talking about 30 backyard uh, um uh, mga mga lugar po diyan sa Bukawi lang ho baka sa isang barangay lang po yan Mr. Chairman no? so i just want to put that on record Mr. Chairman so i hope we 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 get to hear the uh, association the fireworks association Mr. Chair thank you may, may we hear again uh, uh, from the good gentleman from Bulacan uh, ano yung estimate mo sa for Bukawi alone anong well, well, I, as I mentioned earlier, Mr. Chairman, you 30 backyard, when, when I heard about the 30 backyard uh, data from the DTI, baka isang barangay lang ho sa Bukawi yun eh. Uh, marami ho talaga, marami talaga uh, na maliliit na will be affected. And a lot of them are, are, are willing to, to give it up as long as there are, uh, there would be available opportunities for them, Mr. Chairman. Uh, again, I, I don't have the, the, the figures. I, I don't want to make some estimates, Mr. Chairman. So I, I'd rather uh, uh, get it from, from the authorities or from the uh, Fireworks Association, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Yeah, that, thank you. Thank you, Senator Villanueva. That is why uh, it is included here in uh, uh, Senate Bill Number 517, uh, Section 7, that alternative livelihood programs the national government through the Department of Labor and Employment and other concerned agencies shall provide for economically viable alter alternative livelihood programs that may be availed of by any registered firecracker, manufacturers, sailors, and uh, their workers. So, kaya uh, inipasay sa atin ito. And uh, we will hear uh, later from Dole kung anong uh, reaction nila tungkol dito. Dagdag uh, trabaho na naman ito on their part. But uh, anyway, uh, for the estimate, uh, mayroong estimate na ang uh, 
FAO regarding the backyard uh, firearms, uh, firecrackers manufacturers. Go ahead, you have the floor. Thank you, sir. Uh, for the information of everyone, uh, we issued the uh, license to manufacturers, uh, 35, sir, yung manufacturers. Uh, 35? Yes, sir. Of the 35, sir. Uh, nationwide yan, nationwide. Yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of the 35, sir, tatlo lang, sir, yung may uh, nakapasa sa PS. Pero, just the same, we issued the license, sir, because there's no requirement, sir, na you should be, the manufacturer should be PS, uh, uh, ano tayo dito, uh, uh, nakapasa, sir, sa uh, standard. Uh, certified. And then, uh, Sa dealer, sir, we have uh, 124. We issued uh, 124 license. For Nationwide? The yes, sir. For the retailer, sir, we issued 1,163 permits to retail the uh, firecracker, sir. Okay. Uh, I understand. Mahirap kunin yung data doon sa mga backyard uh, uh, manufacturers. Yes, sir. I believe, uh, sir. Ka estimate? May estimate ka? I have done, sir. But, but I believe, sir, the association, uh, sila, sir, yung nagmamonitor, maybe they have uh, uh, an idea about how many are backyard, ano, sir, uh, manufacturers. They have an association, sir, these uh, firecrackers. Oh, okay, may we hear from uh, uh, Mr. The Celso Cruz, Chairman Emeritus, Philippine Pyrotechnics Manufacturers and Dealers Association. Sir, are you around? Para baka meron ka estimate dyan. Good morning, Your Honor. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. You have the floor. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair, and to our Senator Sir Wilkin. Idol po namin yun sa Bulacan. Nakasama namin habang nagsa-seminar kami sa Paputok sa Cebu City. Anyway, uh, listening po sa mga speakers, uh, gusto ko lang munang mag-comment doon sa ating mga proposed house bill. So doon po sa apat na house bill, ang sinusuportahan po namin ay yung inyong house bill number 517, section 3 specifically. Dahil doon po nakalagay na in-include din na yung classification ng mga fireworks. Na actually, ito pong classification na to ay kasama na doon sa ating revised implementing rules of, and regulation of 2012 ng Republic Act 7183. Kaya po nasabi namin na ito ay uh, aming sinasang ayunan kasi napakaganda po nitong uh, proposal po na ito dahil ang sinasabi po dito ay kung paano mo gagamitin ang bawat isang produkto ng fireworks. So yung class 1 po, indoor fireworks, class 2, garden fireworks, class 3, yung tinatawag po namin na display fireworks at class 4, yung po ang uh, very large display na for professional use only. Unfortunately po, 2012 pa to, ay hindi po masyadong napaigting ang pag-i-implement. Had it been na uh, na-implement po to, starting sa manufacturers na Magle-label po sila kung anong classification yung mga produkto nila. Mula po doon hanggang sa dulo sa users, napakalaki po ng magiging impact nito sa pag-iiwas sa mga uh, unsafe use ng produkto at malalaman nila yung tama at bastong paggamit ng mga paputok at pailaw. So yun po sinasang ayunan namin. Doon po sa other proposed bill na sumasang ayon sa EO 28, 
Eh, unfortunately po, ayaw po namin na sumang-ayon dito kasi this runs against our cultural tradition. Unang-una po, sumasang-ayon din kami sa nabanggit kanina ng DTI tungkol sa definition of terms. Dapat po talaga itong ating RAA mapunta muna sa, de sa definition of terms Kasi ang pinag-uusapan po natin ngayon dito is puro fire tracker. So, sa batas po natin, ano ba yung fire tracker? Sa batas po natin, Republic Act 7183, ang kasama po sa fire tracker ay yung ang number one po nakalagay doon, baby rocket. Ito po yung maliit na pwiti. Tapos, small na triangulo. Tapos, tinatawag ng pooling. Yung tinatawag natin permanente or paper cup. Tapos yung paputok dito, yung El Diablo na tinatawag natin Chinese firecracker. At Judas Belt, saka yung panguli ay yung Quintis. Kung makikita po natin, puro mga small fireworks lang po ito na dinisign para mag-ingay. So kung dadalhin po, po, po natin ito sa community uh, designated display uh, fireworks center ay masyado pong impractical at kaya po tayo nagpapaputok sa paligid uh, ng ating bahay ay to drive away the evil spirit. So, uh, hindi po namin makita kung paano magiging effective yung ganong regulasyon. Kaya hindi po kami sumasangayin doon at sinasangayunan namin mabuti yung classification ng mga fireworks kasi yung po ang magdudulot ng mas tama at mas tong pag-iingat sa paggamit ng mga paputok. So, in lang po muna, Mr. Chair, ang aming masasabi. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Cruz, for that uh, uh, comment. Well, uh, yun, yun nga lang, May, mayroon tayong disagreement dito. Yung nga, uh, regarding the yung paggamit ng designated fireworks area dahil nga ang gusto ninyo yung uh, dadalhin doon ay yung mga malalaki lamang yung parang uh, uh, pang big time yung mga class 1 itong mga mga maliliit na mga firecrackers para bang gusto ninyo yung i-authorize na paputokin lang sa pamamahay Well, na nakikita naman kasi ng Bureau of Fire at saka ng uh, PNP na pag uh, ang mga sunog na nangyayari, putukan yan doon sa malapit sa, sa loob ng bahay mismo, lalong-lalo na pag mga bata ang nagpapaputok, uh, careless uh, use of uh, firecrackers, yun nagre-resulta ng sunog. So, eh, along that line, kailangan natin i-harmonize yung ating uh, pagkakaintindi niyan para... Para nga, ang purpose naman natin ito is safety. Pero sa, ang, ang iniisip naman namin, no? uh, hindi man pagbabawalan, kasi alam ko, alam namin, apektado kayo sa pagbibinta dahil lang negosyo nyo yan. Pero hindi natin pagbabawalan yung, yung mga maliliit na firecrackers na bilihin at paputukin doon sa designated area. Huwag lamang doon sa residential area siguro para maiwasan yung mga sunog na mga nangyayari. Uh, that's that's the that's the intent of this bill. Pag designate na isang area para controlled. Uh, hindi naman siya sabi na uh, yung sabi mo impractical na yung mga malilit na uh, parkers dadalhin pa doon sa designated area para paputokin. Gusto niyo doon lang sa harap ng pamamahay o sa loob ng bahay, which uh, nakikita naman natin na yun ang cause ng sunog, cause ng disgrasya, lalong lalo na pag Hindi supervised, lasing na yung nagpaputok dahil Christmas, New Year, lasing na, wala nang, uh, wala nang uh, di, may total disregard of safety. Yung mga bata na uh, nagkasayahan, pati bata sumasali na sa pagsisindi uh, ng paputok, ayun uh, nangyayari na sunog. But anyway, uh, pag-usapan pa natin yan further, paano natin i-harmonize yan. Now, going back sa kung ano, the uh, DTI at saka sa PNP, alam nyo, May, mayroon na pala itong mga standards na ito na in place na. At saka nga, kaya nga, observation ni Senator Ruin Gatsal yan. Kulang tayo sa enforcement nitong uh, itong, uh, sinisit natin standards. Napakaganda po nito kung na-enforce natin ito ng husto. 
Kasi alam natin, you, when you look at uh, firecrackers and pyrotechnics as an industry or as a product, ayan, terp yan ng DTI. But if you look at pyro, firecrackers and pyrotechnics as explosive, terp yan ng PNP, FAO. So kailangan talaga yung DTI at saka FAO para harmonize yung inyong enforcement Pag nag inspect ang DTI, kasama ang police at pinag-usapan yung standard na ano yung in-inspect ninyo. Hindi dapat ibang standard ng PNP, ibang standard ng DTI. Dapat harmonize kayo para ah, mabawasan natin ang uh, mga sakuna, mga unintended results uh, of uh, firecracker use. So da da dapat magkasama kayo palagi, coordinated kayo. Uh, you get my point, uh, Yusik uh, Castillo, ma'am? Right. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, thank you. Uh, yes, I agree, Mr. Chair, that we will need to harmonize also the issuances made, uh, the permitting issued uh, or made by the DTI and the FEO. Mr. Chair, I understand that they license uh, retailers also, but maybe uh, we can ask them to license only those selling products that are certified. Um, by the DTI, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, dapat kayo PNP, yung standards na yun, sundin niyo yun. Y yes, Mr. Kayo Chair. issue ng issue ng permit na outside those standards. Yes, Mr. Chair. Kasi but batas yun eh. That's RA, ano yan? Sir, uh, we 7183. 7183, Mr. Chair. Ah, 7483. Yes, Mr. Chair. But it was not... Uh written in the IRR sir na if you do not if you do not pass the uh, Philippine standard you cannot uh, have the license sir alam nyo babalik na naman tayo sa IRR oh nagagalit na naman si Senator Villano iba diyan na si Senator Getsal yan pag babalik tayo sa IRR you in the absence of the IRR you stick to the law kung ano nakalagay doon sa law yun ang sundin ninyo kasi minsan yung IRR na ni in issue ninyo ay Nag-overshoot uh, na doon sa uh, original intent of the law eh. So, yung sabi mo, walang IRR, hindi na kalaga sa IRR. Why? Kung walang walang IRR, hindi Or na kalaga sa IRR. Or nandito ka ba sa trade hearing? Sabi ko sa batas yun. Go ahead, sin sino yun? Ah, okay, okay. So, yun, yun lang, yun lang. Uh, Senator Joel, you have something to say? Yes, Mr. Chairman, just a very quick observation and... Uh, manifestation uh, we have heard about this law 7183 we have heard about the licensing classification ddi pnp etc but this is this is coming from uh, someone who who live all his life uh, in in the uh, midst of all this mr chairman uh, you remember when we were tackling uh, uh, the Department of uh, Filipino Overseas, even uh, Senator Sherwin Gatchalian was there and uh, yung, yung mga requirements po nung sa POEA, napakahaba po, napakahaba, napakadami, nag-overlap, etc. To the point na we ask this question, eh, bakit ang taas ng illegal recruitment, bakit ang taas ng andaming sumasama doon sa sa alam nila na illegal, alam nila na may fixer, doon sila pumupunta kasi talagang eh mahirap pa, mahir napakahirap i-comply nung lahat ng mga gustong gawin doon sa POEA at yung iba pare-pareho na. Ang point ko lang Mr. Chairman and this is just an observation, if you look at the numbers, the figures, how many are trying to get licenses, how many are trying to comply with the law, perhaps we could talk about why is it very hard to 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 comply and uh, to to have a license, Mr. Chairman? I mean, if you have only six license all over the country, there must be something wrong, no? And I I wish to evaluate this uh, particular uh, issue, Mr. Chairman. And to the PNP, for example, uh, itong implementation ng 7183. Ano ba yung nakikita nating? Uh, problema dito. For instance, I, I'd like to raise that question, how many persons or entities have been penalized for violating the provisions of uh, RA 7183 and other regulations on uh, firecrackers? 
uh, specifically how many persons po yung uh, and entities were penalized uh, for committing each of uh, the following yung nakalagay po dito and I, 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 I hope they have the breakdown, Mr. Chairman. Ilan yung sa manufacturing, selling, and distributing na without license. Ilan yung nasa manufacturing, selling, distributing that are not included in the legal products as prohibited under Section 3. Ilan din po yung importing finished uh, firecrackers and fireworks under Section 6 naman. Yung selling of and pyrotechnic devices under uh, doon sa mga below 18 years of age. Eh, ilan po yun? Gusto natin sana ma-evaluate din po natin ito. And uh, uh, again, uh, I, I, I am more than willing to cooperate and listen. And uh, uh, we are all after safety, Mr. Chairman. And uh, kanina, binanggit po nung ating uh, kasamahan dito sa sa Pyrotechnics Association. Um, just to share with you, Mr. Chairman, no, laking bukawi ako all my life. Yung mga permanente, yung mga pooling. Eh, Mr. Chair, kahit sa loob talaga ng bahay namin, nagpupuling at permanente kami. No? And uh, uh, siguro nasanay ho kami. Eh, kahit na walang... Kasi yung permanente pooling, ano lang po yun eh. Uh, hindi ko ho alam uh, kung may data rin tayo na itong permanent pooling just this two for example kung ito talaga nagko-cost ng uh, isang uh, sunog sa isang bahay kung 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 meron man po no and i i would gladly uh, listen kung meron pong uh, pagkakatao na because these are uh, i would say uh, kinalakihan naming laruan na na hindi ko maintindihan kung uh, kung un until now kung gaano ka dangerous ang pooling saka itong permanent so Again, we're here to listen and here to help in any way we can, Mr. Chairman. So, hopefully, masagot po nung PNP and uh, ating mga resource persons how we are doing with the implementation of uh, 7183. Ano yung observation nila? Ano yung mga paraan? Papaano natin maiingan nyo? Kasi if at the end of the day, even if we pass another law at hindi rin po ito susundin and it will be just business as usual, Eh, wala din pong mangyayari at uh, baka hindi natin maatin yung ating mga mithiin. Salamat to, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator Joel Villanueva. Uh, may follow-up si Senator Wynn Gatsalian. Go ahead, you have Mr. the floor. Chair, Mr. Chair, we all know that uh, uh, in regulating an industry, uh, there are consequences. No? And the uh, offshoot of this regulation is uh, there might be uh, job losses and um, I, I want to ask uh, you Sir Castello if there is um, the fireworks and pyrotechnic is an industry you know? in, in, in some areas in some countries that is a thriving industry you know? the case in point there is every New Year's kadami dami pong ini-import na papatok alam naman natin hu yan, no? from China from Taiwan ano pa ba yung ibang lugar but Obviously, it's a thriving industry in their country. Uh, I want to ask uh, Engineer Cruz and Yusek Castello, is there a roadmap for this type of industry in our country? Because um, what we want is to uh, make this industry sustainable and make this industry uh, safe. No? Um, that's why in, in our proposal is to transition it into a corporate type of use because the corporate, obviously, it's related to business. You know? And um, in, in business, um, they use that as their marketing um, uh, gimmickry. But my point there is, meron ba ho tayong roadmap? Because what we don't want an industry that is plagued with uh, accidents, that's plagued with... Um, unregulation or no licenses or or, or underground uh, manufacturers we don't want that we want a thriving industry and uh, in fairness to the association uh, a lot of them also want to become uh, licensed legitimate and sustainable no that's their goal no you don't want to have an association of underground manufacturers but an association of uh, legitimate and uh, licensed manufacturer. So, is there a roadmap of some kind to transition the industry into a a legitimate and sustainable 
industry. But uh, thank you, thank you, Senator Gitsalian. Before you answer, uh, using Ruth Castillo, I'd like to remind uh, General Mitra, you prepare after Ruth Castillo, you prepare your answer to the questions of uh, Senator Joel Villanueva. So you have the floor, uh, Yusik Castillo, please. Yes, Mr. Chair, salamat po. Uh, Mr. Chair, currently there is no roadmap uh, on, in the fireworks industry, but we can have one prepared, Mr. Chair, to help the, especially the micro and small manufacturers or the backyard manufacturers, Mr. Chair, transition into a legitimate business. So, wala. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Yusik Castillo. Uh, we hope na uh, mag-device din kayo ng uh, kung uh, roadmap uh, if, if we may suggest para makita natin yung um, makita natin yung direction natin uh, towards uh, towards uh, modernizing itong industry na ito. That's your trip, uh, DTI. Oh, yes, Mr. Uh, Chair. Thank Joel, you, sir. Say, yeah. Thank you. Senator Joel, uh, you want to add some, something before uh, uh, General Mitra respond to your questions? Yeah, well, uh, it's just sad, Mr. Chair, no? Na, uh, we, we, we feel that this industry is uh, important, pero hindi yun yung nararamdaman natin, hindi rin yung nakikita natin with the, uh, just, just a quick uh, observation, Mr. Chair. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I share, I share your observation. Ma ma mapapansin lang itong industry na ito pag, uh, pag uh, may naputulan ng kamay mapapansin lang itong industry na ito pag may nasunog na malaking uh, sunog dahil uh, doon sa mga ginagawa so dapat tutukan natin ito uh, whole year round uh, para para nga mapaganda itong industriya na ito so DTI, uh, please take note oh yes uh, Chair. Pero, yeah. yeah good, thank you General Mitra, you respond to the questions of uh, General uh, Senator Villanueva? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, in my shop, sir, uh, the Params Explosive Office, uh, we penalize, sir, the uh, dealers and manufacturers. As of today, sir, uh, we suspend the processing of new licenses to about 50 uh, stakeholders, sir. Suspend? Yes, sir. The processing of... Actually, sir, uh, wala na silang license, sir. Tinanggalan na natin, sir. So, Nagtanggal kayo ng yes, 50? Yes, sir. Anong reason? Uh, some of this, ano, sir, uh, may mga requirements tayo, sir, na hindi nila nakuha. Just like yung uh, uh, seminars, they should uh, first uh, have the seminar for the safety, sir, nung, ano, nung, uh, ng uh, produkto. And then, uh, other, sir, yung sa... Mostly, uh, nakikita natin yan, sir, sa uh, monitoring and inspection, sir, nung kanilang mga uh, area, sir. Okay, sige, sige kay monitoring and inspection. Yung nga, yung, yes, uh, yes, yung isang tanong ni Senator Villanoy ba, is uh, meron na ba kayong nakasuhan? May na-prosecute na ba dito sa, kaso, sa for violation of this uh, act? Most of them, sir, are uh, yun, sir. Uh, we suspend their licenses, sir. Yun lang? Yes, Hanggang As administrative lang kayo? Yes, sir. As Wala the... kayong criminal na, na file to these uh, manufacturers, to the dealers, to the whatever involved dito? Negative, sir. Wala. But yung, sir, uh, I mean, sir, yung criminal aspect, sir, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I think uh, I will get the data from the Directorate for Operations, sir, and I will submit it to you, sir. Mr. Chairman, oh, if wait, I wait. may. Yeah, yes, uh, Senator Villanueva. Yeah, Go ahead. thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sir, Pwede, pwedeng i-break down po natin. Siguro, isa-isahin natin. Section 4 and Section 5 of RA 7183. Manufacturing, selling, and distributing firecrackers and, iron, and other pyrotechnic devices without license or permit. Ilan po yung nahuli ninyo dito uh, nakaraang taon? Eh, kahit na hindi na nakaraang taon, kung meron man talaga, oh. uh, kahit na anong <laughs> reference mo na year, May number kayo diyan? May nahuli na kayo? May nakasuhan na kayo? Uh, sir, we will section, get the... Ano yun? Si, uh, Senator Joel? Section? section 4 and 5 ng... Uh, 4 and section 5. 4 and 5, oh. RA 7183. Violation of section 4 and 5. Yes, sir. If you have data, kahit na since time immemorial, <laughs> na may nahuli kayo at may nakasuhan kayo. Sige nga. Sir, as of now, sir, we have, uh, uh, we have no data, sir. But uh, we will give you, sir, uh, the data. 
Uh, we will send you the ano sir, the hard copy sir. I as of now sir, wala akong dala sir na ano. Okay, be, be sure to send copies to this committee ha. Yes sir, opo sir. At saka uh, specifically sa office ni Senator Villanueva. Yes sir, opo sir. Ah. Yes sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, and then another, right. let's right. go to let's go to manufacturing, selling, distributing and using other types of firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices that are not included in the legal products as prohibited under Section 3. Gusto rin natin malaman yun. Ibig sabihin, nag, nagsesell sila, nagdi-distribute sila, nagmamanufacture sila ng mga pyrotechnic devices or uh, other types of firecrackers na hindi included dun sa mga legal na produkto. And then another thing is yung importing uh, finished firecrackers and fireworks. Prohibited yan under Section 6. I suppose, Mr. Chairman, wala, pa rin, wala din po silang dalang data ngayon kahit na ito yung i-hear natin. We are supposed to hear and uh, evaluate the implementation of RA 7183. But unfortunately, I don't think they have the data. So ang point ko lang, Mr. Chair, I think klaro dito, kung ikaw ay isang manufacturer, ikaw ay isang seller, distributor ng mga ganitong produkto, Ikaw ba, mag, kukuha ka pa ba talaga ng lisensya? Kung ganito rin lang. Yun yung, yung problema. Isang problema ho yun. There's really a, a big problem of uh, uh, regulation and implementing the laws that we have passed. And uh, I wish that we can uh, evaluate this and be uh, in, have an honest to goodness evaluation. What is this for? Inutil ba to? Hindi ba natin ito? Ano ba yung... Pinakamahirap i-implement dito sa 7183. Eh baka nagpapa-implement tayo for example ng uh, seat belt sa, sa sa lahat ng mga PUJ, manghirap nga talaga. Aminin po natin 'yon. So I think that's the best way to 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 go over it, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Joel Belaniba. Uh, they will uh, provide us the sa ngayon daw wala daw silang dalang data, but uh, I'm sure meron niya silang nakasuhan. Uh, I'm sure meron nakasuhan yan uh, yung, yung uh, mga illegal na pagbibinta. Yung, uh, iwan ko lang doon sa manufacturing kung meron kayo nakasuhan. Pero sa pagbibinta, alam ko marami kayong kaso dyan. But anyway, please provide the data. Yes, sir. Huh? yes Mr. Chair. Okay, thank, thank you. You. Uh, you are raising your hand, uh, Yusik uh, Castelo. You are raising your hand, Yusik Castelo? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, thank you. So from here, uh, we'll hear from uh, DILG. Kanina pa si uh, Yusik Ichiberi nag, uh, tat, nag sa sound off. Yusik Ichiberi, we may hear from you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I won't open yeah, go my... Ahead. You have the floor. Yeah, I won't open my video anymore. My internet is weak, Mr. Chair. Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, at the onset, while this department recognizes the need to regulate the manufacture, sale, distribution, and actual use of firecrackers, considering the risk and danger that comes with using fireworks, however, this department is of the position that it is not necessary to entirely ban the sale, distribution, and use of all types of firecrackers, and either and other pyrotechnic device is not necessary. Instead, only those not falling within the standardized types or classification of firecrackers, such as substandard, oversized, and or those containing explosive content sufficient to endanger life and limbs, shall be prohibited to be manufactured, sale, or distributed in any form or kind. Accordingly, this department supports the intention to classify and standardize the types of firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices that shall be allowed in accordance with their proper use. Correspondingly, this level concurs with the objective that the use of firecrackers or pyrotechnics shall only be done by professionals. Be that as it may, this department would like to emphasize that in relation to climate change, fireworks can cause extensive air pollution Exposure to chemicals and actual physical pieces of waste is linked to negative health implications. With that being said, this department would like to recommend that this aspect of fireworks and its impact to the environment shall also be considered in drafting the subject measures. 
in view of the foregoing, this, this, this department is of the considered view that in lieu of a general prohibition, the refining of the regulation of fireworks, such as categorizing different kinds of fireworks, providing for a limited period on when firecrackers and or fireworks can be sold, as well as its effect to the environment, stricter system regarding licensing of manufacturer sellers, which shall include storage license in order to ensure that the places where fireworks are stored are compliant with the health and safety protocols would be more beneficial not only in guaranteeing the safety of the public, but at the same time taking into account the livelihood of registered manufacturers and retailers of firecrackers as well as its workers. With that being said, Mr. Chair, we would want to also express that the department together with DOH and PNP has uh, intensified its campaign in following the orders of the president. And through the president's political will, we have managed to save more lives than, than before. Ika nga sa kasabihan po, tuwing bagong taon na lang po may namamatay. Kaya nga po, this time around, we're very proud to say that this year, uh, it were, it, we had lesser death than before. Sana po, wala na po mamamatay sa mga susunod na taon. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Mr. Kitsiveri. You have a very va valid uh, point there. Uh, uh, tayo no, sige tayo reklamo pag uh, New Year, Christmas, may namamatay na naman na uh, hindi lang sa firecrackers, ha, kundi yung uh, indiscriminate firing. Yung may nagpaputok, nabagsakan ng bala, sa ulo, patay. So, pero ngayon, wala din naririnig, di ba, sa awa ng Diyos. So, napakalaking tulong po nito. But uh, from here, andyan pa ba yung taga Bureau of Customs? Attorney, sino yung mga customs natin? Attorney Martinez and uh, Attorney Raval. Are you still around? Bureau of Customs? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we're still yeah, here. May, may tanong lang ako dito. Uh, according to Section 6 of uh, RA uh, 7183, importation of uh, chemicals and explosive ingredients. The importation of finished firecrackers and fireworks shall be prohibited. Uh, meron na ba kayo na huling uh, importer ng mga finished uh, products na firecrackers and fireworks? Kasi alam natin, hindi natin na madideny na ang daming nagkalat dyan sa uh, palengke na mga made in China, made in Thailand, ng mga firecrackers. Matanong lang kung uh, meron na ba kayo nahuli na uh, importer, illegal importer ng uh, firecrackers and uh, fire fireworks? Yes, Your Honor. We, we have had incidents of uh, importations of uh, of uh, firecrackers and uh, as the section says, what is prohibited is the importation of finished uh, finished products, finished firecracker products. And uh, in the past, uh, in some of the in some of the seizures that we've made, uh, some of these uh, firecrackers appear to be just raw materials. But uh, when tested, uh, it uh, it uh, turned out that these are already finished products, and uh, so these have been seized, and uh, some of them have been turned over already to the Philippine National Police. I don't have the data with me now, Mr. Chairman, but uh, uh, in time we will submit to the committee a database and ma or matrix of uh, the seizures that we've made in the past. Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. Please, please provide us the data if you uh, produce the ninyo. Thank you, Attorney. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Senator Joel Villanueva, go yes, ahead. Yes, Mr. Floor. Chairman, just, just to follow up the uh, Bureau of... Uh, Customs. First of all, let, let me put this on record, Mr. Chairman. For the past five years, uh, if you go around Bukawe every December after, uh, after Christmas, Mr. Chairman, ang mas marami hong binebenta doon sa mga legally selling uh, firecrackers or pyrotechnic uh, products, eh, mga imported po eh. 
mas madami ho yung imported. I think uh, I I I would dare anyone to tell me na mas madami yung locally produced. Kasi mas marami ho yung imported talaga na binebenta. So I I wonder uh, paano nakakapasok po yun, no? So again, that's my my first observation, Mr. Chairman. Anybody who, who knows the industry will tell you marami ang pumapasok na imported. Uh, I I wonder why why it's happening despite the fact that uh, we made mention that the uh, under 7163 uh, of the republic of uh, republic act 7163 the importation of finished uh, firecrackers and fireworks uh, is prohibited now my, my next question mr chairman to to boc is how much of the total value of smuggled firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices were seized and turned over to the uh, Philippine National Police for for the past two years, siguro, itong 2020, tsaka itong 2019. Uh, yes, well, uh, Board of Customs, uh, can you respond to that? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, again, as I mentioned a while ago, uh, I don't have the matrix right now, but uh, in a few days, Your Honor, we will submit the data to the committee, uh, if Your Honor, please. Yeah, thank you. Please uh, submit the data uh, to this uh, secretariat, to this committee. Uh, I think uh, General Mitra from EPO, Senator Villanueva, he has uh, yeah, some yeah, answer just, to just, the question. Yeah. Yes, sir, Mr. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, and let me also put on the table for discussion, based on their estimates, based on their estimates, if any, Mr. Chairman, no, what is the total value of smuggled firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices that is not discovered not discovered or seized by the boc because as i mentioned earlier and when, when i bought in and tried to interject with regard to smuggled firecrackers in my own personal experience the past five years mas marami ang imported na binebenta kesa sa locally produced uh, firecrackers mr chairman just to put that on record thank you thank you Sir. Uh, take note uh, bureau of customs dagdag mo yun sa I-research ninyo. Kung may estimate kayo, alam ko, hindi nyo, sab hindi nyo masabi yung definite na uh, quantity na nakapasok dahil uh, hindi nga uh, na-record sa inyong opisina. Pero siguro, estimate will do kung meron kayo. Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. So, uh, General Mitra, yes, uh, you are... Uh, Mr. You Mr. Chair, uh, last year... The Bureau of Customs uh, turned over to FEO 14 uh, 20 footer uh, ban um, of imported uh, firecrackers, sir. Uh, estimated uh, around 60 million pesos, sir. And we destroyed these uh, uh, imported firecrackers at uh, Camp O'Donnell, sir. Okay, so 16 for, for the uh, that's 14. just for. Mr. Chairman, that's just for one incident, Mr. Chairman. One incident. I'm talking about the entire year, Mr. Chairman. You're only talking of September 5, 2020, where BOC turned over 60 million worth of smuggled pyrotechnics and firecrackers to PNP for destruction. Alam ko rin po yan. Nag-aaral po tayo bago tayo mag magkaroon ng hearing. Eh. Inaalam natin itong mga data na ito. Tayo po kung saan tayong nanggaling na ehensya when we go to senate hearings like this i think it is important to 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 uh, to have at least uh, the data with you no and not just that dadagdagan ko po yung sinabi nyo september 5 po yan nung august 2020 5 million worth of smuggled firecrackers naman ang nasis at the port of manila turn over din sa pnp the products were misdeclared mis as plastic bins nung october 2 2020 a Bureau of Customs destroyed 1,000 boxes of smuggled firecrackers in Davao City. The products were misdeclared mis as cleaning balls, plastic craft, flashlights, and plastic coverings. Ang point ko lang, Mr. Chairman, ang dami ko nito. And nakikita natin, madaming smuggled firecrackers and pyrotechnic products. May mga nahuhuli nga po. Unfortunately, we don't have the data how much yung value nito. Pero ang sinasabi natin, and my own personal observation, I don't have any uh, background. Alam mo yan, Mr. Chair, uh, when it comes to policing, etc., sa'yo ako nag, nagko-consult. I don't have any background on that. But in my own personal point of view, the past five years, ang mas maraming binebenta na paputo ay mga imported products. Kaya tingnan natin 
ito bang RA7183 may magagawa po tayo o kung kung hindi man ito yung ating uh, gagawin at uh, titignan para rebisahin o amyendahan then let us come up with another law and this law that we're talking about deliberating upon perhaps we can do better we can we can serve better our country and people thank you mr chair yeah i definitely agree with you senator belenueva uh tumatango-tango yung ulo ng uh, PNP at saka ng Bureau of Fire dito. Sabi nila, hindi daw sila magkakalusot talaga sa iyo eh. Hindi, <laughs> hindi sila magkakalusot. But anyway, kung totoo yan, ganun kadami yung nahuhuli at ang obserbasyon ni Senator Villanueva na marami pa rin nagkakalat doon sa mga natinitinda sa mga palengke. So ibig sabihin, mas marami nagkakalusot kaysa nahuhuli. So it, it takes a second hard look yung enforcement natin dito sa uh, dito sa provision ng batas na ito uh, lalo lalo na Bureau of Customs uh, this is your turf kung paano sila nakakalusot please take a second hard look on this otherwise according to Senator Villanueva iba nga sayang itong mga batas na ito na ginagawa natin kung hindi ito nagagamit ninyo kayo mga implementors ng batas na ito. So, please, uh, take note. Uh, next, uh, moving forward. Um, attorney uh, Heidi Kagiwa from uh, Animal Welfare. May we hear from you? Then after that, uh, we have the League of Cities. Uh, good morning, Senator, um, Mr. Chair, and good morning po to everyone. This is Attorney Heidi Marquez Kagiwa from Animal Kingdom Foundation. We are an animal welfare group po. We would like to manifest our support to the initiative of the good senators in the total banning and or regulation of the use of firecrackers and fireworks because um, uh, these fireworks and firecrackers actually represent danger and health risk not only to human beings po, but also to the animals um, dogs and cats birds and other wildlife din po and um also we have to take into consideration that um the, the these fireworks and um, firecrackers are pollution or are pollutants no um, the the pollution or ignition of fireworks and firecrackers are actually are, are um, actually causes disorientation to the animals, elevated uh, heart um, heart rates, trembling, anxieties, and um, of course the toxic gases that are emitted by these fireworks or firecrackers are injurious to the health of the animals they are also they causes also um injuries or burning injuries to these um pets or animals that we have not to also consider the fact that they cause hearing loss or tinnitus na tinatawag po natin which are actually irreversible to dogs and cats po that's why um Sa amin po, sa animal welfare groups or animal welfare NGOs, we really um, um, laud this measure and we really hope that this will be passed eventually. Um, we have to uh, consider po that animals are sentient beings. They have the capacity to feel and to suffer like humans as well. Hence, we would like to appeal to the good senators that the welfare of animals will also be considered in the passing of this bill. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat, uh, uh, Ma'am Heidi Kagiwa, for that input. Next, uh, we hear, uh, can we hear from the League of Cities? Afterwards, we are going to hear from Attorney Aaron uh, Bailey Santos uh, the from the province of uh, Bulacan. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Chair. Ma'am, you have the floor. 
Yes, good morning, Mr. Chair. On behalf of League of Cities of the Philippines, we manifest our support, our support for these legislative measures imposing firecracker ban and regulates distribution and sets parameters for proper use of firecrackers and other pyrotechnic devices. Also, uh, Mr. Chair, the League of Cities agrees in the provision providing classification of uh, firecrackers and other uh, pyrotechnic devices to further ensure public safety of all our um, constituents, Mr. Chair. That would be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you for that support, uh, ma'am, from uh, the League of Cities. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, next, we hear from Attorney Aaron Bailey Santos, the uh, legal officer of uh, the province of Bulacan. Go ahead, sir, Attorney. Uh, yes, good morning, Mr. Chair, and to the other senators as well as to you, Se Castello, and uh, other uh, attendees of this uh, hearing. Uh, Mr. Chair, we are fully supportive of this legislation. However, uh, as I bulak in your, your uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I cannot uh, discount that there are many families that are reliant on this industry. I saw uh, Senator Joel Villanueva earlier when it was asked whether or not there are uh, how many numbers of uh, industries are here in Bulacan. And uh, the good uh, uh, undersecretary of DTA answered there are around 30s. And <laughs> as a resident of Bukawi in Kalumpit, I, I am fully aware that there are more than hundreds of uh, this small-time uh, uh, backyard uh, uh, manufacturers. However, it is a good initiative on the part of the uh, big manufacturers to absorb these uh, smaller manufacturers and uh, as well as the uh, initiative from the DTI to help these uh, manufacturers. We are fully supportive of this uh, legislation, uh, Mr. Chair. However, uh, we cannot discount that the displaced families will be, uh, will be put in jeopardy. So we have also to take into consideration the transition that are needed for them to, to be able to go to another uh, livelihood rather than this one, which uh, we all know imperils the, the life and limbs of uh, everyone who are using this. And we also support the, the, the DTI on uh, categorizing these kinds of fireworks, wherein we could, we could easily delineate which uh, fireworks or uh, pyrotechnics are uh, are uh, are safe to use in the in 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 the designated fireworks area if ever and uh, we also support the uh, the the comment of the good senator serving the challenge where he, he also uh, want to have uh, uh, a section in this proposed legislation wherein the manufacturers will all be fully supported. That would be all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Hatayme Aaron Bailey Santos. Pareho kayo ni Senator Joel Villanueva. Gustong kumanta lang. Sana dalawa ang puso ko. Pampakwala yun, pamparelax para huwag kayo masyado mga problema. We will take these uh, bills up properly na wala tayo masagasaan uh, kung ano-ano na pamumuhay or what. At uh, ma maatin natin yung uh, objective ng mga bills na ito. First and foremost is safety. So that is why we are conducting this hearing. Uh, from here, we want to hear from... Uh, uh, Mr. Tony Dizon, the chemicals and safety campaigner of the Eco Waste, uh, Eco -waste Coalition. Yes, Mr. thank you, Mr. Tony Chair. Dizon, go ahead. Yeah, you have the yes, floor. Uh, the, the Eco Waste Coalition expresses its support to, uh, for the efforts of our distinguished senators to address the issues of the hard, hazard and dangers uh, posed by firecrackers and fireworks. We appreciate uh, this opportunity to be able to provide our comments to the proposed bills and measures. More than being a health and safety hazard, uh, fireworks and firecrackers are, 
crackers are also an environmental hazard. Uh, this then provides for further justification to push for this kind of legislation, which will not only benefit people, but also nature and the environment. There should be a general consideration of the existing provisions of RA 7183 and its implementing rules and regulation as to what will be repealed or retained unless a complete repeal is what is being pushed for. In a recent letter calling for a ban on firecrackers and fireworks, we sent to the uh, Interagency Task Force on COVID-19, uh, we made the following observations, uh, a complete repeal uh, uh, and justification for the ban. One, uh, lightning fire, uh, firecrackers and fireworks emit loads of toxic gases and pollutants to the environment, causing poor air quality in a short period of time, which can weaken the immune system function and put a person at a high risk of respiratory infection, including COVID-19. Let there be exposure to toxic pollutants emitted from the bursting of uh, firecrackers and fireworks is dangerous to everyone, especially to the elderly and people with underlying medical condition, including those affect, uh, affected with chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disease, heart problems, diabetes, and other illnesses, as they tend to develop more severe symptoms. A third, even minor injuries resulting from firecrackers and fireworks accident will require uh, emergency care and treatment at a hospital to prevent tetanus infection, further straining, uh, and already overburdened uh, healthcare system. Uh, letter D, celebrating the new year with uh, firecrackers and fireworks encourages mass gathering in the neighborhood or in a community or park hosting a firework uh, display, which will make physical distancing a precautionary health measure against COVID-19. Uh, and uh, it is also difficult to observe. It is also worth mentioning that the Equis Coalition also has an initiative to encourage LGUs to enact an ordinance to ban firecrackers and fireworks, which uh, uh, we have prepared a template ordinance to be used by LGUs. So we, we have some specific uh, comments also, Mr. Chair, if you may allow. Uh, number one, on the declaration of policies to further justify the measure, the following can be included as policies of the state and the law. Letter A, Section 16, Article 2 of the Constitution, the state shall protect and advance the right of the people to a balanced and healthy ecology in accord with the rhythm and harmony of nature. This is in recognition of the environmental hazards caused by fireworks and firecrackers. Aside from the public safety argument uh, for regulating firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices, there are health and environmental impact as well. The chemicals, smokes, and fumes are dangerous, especially for young children who are over uh, oftentimes encouraged to use uh, these items. In addition, domestic animal such as dogs and cats, suffer stress and trauma due to the noise of, uh, noise of firecrackers uh, given their increased sensitivity to sound. Letter B, Section 25, Article 2 of the Constitution on the Autonomy of Local Government uh, to recognize the local ordinances uh, which have already adopted bans and or regulation of fireworks and firecrackers and given the important role of LGUs for implementation. And letter C, Article 2, uh, Title 1 of uh, Republic Act 7394 of the Consumer Act of the Philippines, which declares as a policy of the state to, pro to protect the interests of the consumer, promote his uh, general welfare, and to establish standards of conduct for business and industry. One of the objective is also the protection from hazard uh, to health and safety. So total ban on firecracker for private use. It is recommended that the total ban on the private uh, use of firecrackers as defined by law must be instituted. Use of the same can only be allowed for public display on account 
of a celebration and a uh, and or occasion of a special occasion and done by licensed professionals and with appropriate government permits simple fireworks and pyrotechnic device can be allowed for private use subject to guidelines uh, 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 we acknowledge the uh, uh, provisions in the uh, uh, bills uh, 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 sponsored by Senator De La Rosa that they determine the parameter, the uh, distance, uh, if in case there will be a uh, community firework display. But uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, we wanted to know, uh, especially from the, our DILG or from the local governance, is there any uh, uh, location uh, to conduct such a uh, firework display, considering that most of the um, uh, uh, um, cities here are really uh, uh, highly uh, urbanized? Uh, third, uh, clear definition of fireworks and fire uh, uh, firecrackers to avoid vagueness. The proposed measure must provide for clear definition of what constitutes fireworks and firecrackers. The four classes provided for by uh, Senate Bill 517 can be a starting point. However, this must take into consideration the proposed ban on the private use of fireworks. The definition should also provide for a ban on the use of toxic and hazardous chemicals in the production of these products, as well as ensuring the safe and hazard of hazard free manufacturing facilities and processes. Recognize, uh, number four, recognize LGUs who have existing ordinances. Uh, there are already several LGUs which have institute, uh, instituted bans or regulations of fireworks and firecrackers. So the, the proposed measure should recognize this and allow for uh, simultaneous implementation uh, and enforcement, uh, provided that the ordinance do not contravene uh, uh, the law itself. So number five, provide for information education campaign on uh, environmental hazards of fireworks and firecrackers. Uh, there should be a strong push for an information and education campaign uh, for the uh, environmental risk and hazards of fireworks and firecrackers, especially with minors and children. This will help uh, with the law's uh, implementation and also for support uh, for the ban to be put in place. Uh, number six, uh, clear provisions on an alternative livelihood. The proposed measure should provide for clear provisions uh, and benefits for those businesses and workers affected by the ban. And lastly, uh, creative penalties. Aside from fines and penalties for violators, the proposed measure can also provide for creative penalties such as community service for violators. This will help make uh, violators realize that their non-compliance uh, with the law affects the health of people around them and also the health of the, uh, of the environment. That's all, Mr. Chair, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tony Griffin, for your support to this. Uh, Mr. Chair. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mr. Chair. Senator uh, Yusik uh, Chaberi? Yes. Yes, Mr. Yeah, Chair. Yeah, but before I give you the floor, I, I would like to comment on the last uh, proposal of uh, Mr. Tony Dizon. Ano yung sabi mo? Community service? One of the yeah. penalties? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mr. Chair. Maganda, maganda yan. Ay, yeah, I, I like your uh, proposal. Maganda yan para kung, kalat, sir, eh. kung, kung sino yung nagkakalat, sila ang pawawalisin kinabukasan pag New Year. Pag yung mga nahuli, sila Maram magwawalis. Po, Ay, mag very good, very good uh, suggestion. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, we recognize Yusek Ichiberi. And after uh, Yusek Ichiberi, we are going to hear from uh, uh, Mark Valeros from the uh, Department of uh, Health. Ah, health ka ba, Mark? Dr. Mark Valeros? Uh, dole, 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 dole. Uh, please, uh, you have the floor, Yusek Ichiberi. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, so what uh, the, um, the speaker has mentioned already, uh, the good gentleman, the DILG issued an advisory pursuant to the executive order issued by the president. And a handful of, well, majority at least of the, of the local government has already issued their respective ordinances, Mr. Chair. 
Um, and uh, I'm glad to say that uh, through that ordinance, uh, the Philippine National Police, including DOH, ha had ease of monitoring and preventing uh, the use of illegal crackers, Mr. Chair. I agree with the gentleman by saying the key here, Mr. Chair, is the participation of the local government. Uh, without the participation of the barangays who are closely monitoring those who are selling illegal firecrackers, this will, uh, this effort will uh, uh, will be futile, Mr. Chair. I agree also with the fact that uh, uh, there should be an area where the local government should uh, consider as an area for safety on uh, the the use of firecrackers, Mr. Chair. The PNP is uh, is already. Uh, we have limited number of Philippine National Police to really monitor everything. That is why, Mr. Chair, I agree that local government should also be involved in, in this, uh, in this uh, effort. Uh, to case in point, Mr. Chair, former Governor Alvarado and Congressman Pancho uh, were also part of helping us in regulating uh, the, the manufacture of uh, illegal firecrackers in Bokaue. And we had actually a dialogue with uh, with, uh, with the users and the manufacturers there. So it's really the efforts of the local government that would really uh, spearhead this effort, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yusik Itsiberi. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair. Maganda yung, uh, maganda yung support nyo for this uh, bill. Thank you very much. Uh, pro we, we give the floor to... Mr. Mark Balero, uh, Dr. Mark Baleros from uh, Dole. You, can you comment on this, uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Baleros? Itong Section 7 of uh, Senate Bill uh, Number 517. Section 7, Alternative Livelihood Programs. The national government through the Department of Labor and Employment and other concerned agencies shall provide for economically viable alternative livelihood programs that may be availed of by any registered firecracker, manufacturers, retailers, and their workers. May we hear from you? Thank you. You have the floor. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Chair. Uh, the Dole, you have working conditions. Process, no objection. Sandi, lakas lakas sa mo konti. Hindi kayo masyadong okay, marinig. Okay, sorry, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair. Lapit, mo, okay. lapit ka sa microphone. Yeah. Sir, the Dole, uh, Bureau of Working Conditions poses no objection to the proposed measures as the Bureau shares the same view with our honorable lawmakers on the imposition of a firecracker ban nationwide. With regard to the concern of the difficulty of implementing this once it will be enacted into a law, Davao has shown that a total firecracker ban can work. With enough political will, a destructive cultural tradition can be tamed and subsumed in the general welfare. We support certain exceptions on the proposed Senate bills, but there's no doubt that majority of workers in the industry will be affected. It is suggested for inclusion, it is suggested for inclusion for a provision for transitory period of one year to help prepare the industry and affected workers. Government assistance to the affected workers must be taken into consideration in the proposed measure. The last item for, the, for recommendation is under Senate Bill 517, authored by you, Mr. Chair. The DOLE welcome this provision as we have a dedicated office for this. The Bureau of Workers with Special Concern, uh, which provides for livelihood assistance for displaced workers. They could also avail skills training through referrals, uh, generation of employment through job fairs, and job matching through other, uh, through other government agencies, as test the uh, Bureau of Local Employment of the DOLE and PESO. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chair, uh, for your consideration. Thank you, uh, Dr. Mark Valeros, uh, for your support to these bills. Maraming salamat. Uh, we, you have uh, anything to say, uh, Mr. Uh, Ariel Dienla? Uh, uh, you, before uh, Ariel Dienla, we recognize you, say, Karot Castillo. You are raising your hand. You have the floor, ma'am. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Uh, uh, salamat po, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, we understand that the retailers of fireworks 
in the Philippines are also also issued business permits by the local government units. So maybe, Mr. Chair, uh, we can find a way where we can um, make as a requirement for the issuance of a business permit to sell on retail um, that those that will be sold are the ones that are certified uh, by the Bureau of Philippine Standards, Mr. Chair. Also, before the FEO issues a license to uh, sell to retailers, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, that is why we are, we are advising the PNP to strictly implement itong, uh, uh, standards na sinisit ng Bureau of Philippine Standards para harmonize yung efforts natin and also the local government uh, tama kayo, kayo dyan we will uh, see to it that uh, yan ay masusunod so incorporate natin dito sa batas na ito yung uh, standardizing ng mga produkto niyan ay dapat ma-implement ng lahat ng concerned regulating agency whether it is a national government agency or a local government units ay dapat masunod yan. So, tama ka. Uh, you are taking note of your... Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, your input. So, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Yusik uh, Castello. May we hear from uh, Mr. Dean La? From the product uh, uh, Philippine uh, Standard. Uh, uh, Ariel Dean La? Morning, you have the floor. You have the floor, ma'am. Ah, sir. Go, you have the floor. With the permission of uh, our... Medyo mahina ang sound mo, sir. Mahina. Pakilakas daw. Hello, uh, sound check po. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Medyo mahina pa. Medyo lapit, lapit pa sa microphone. Hello. Alam mo, yung chairman ninyo, sa kakaputok ng baril, bingi na ito eh. Kanang tinga ko, hindi na makakarinig masyado. Please, uh, lakas-lakasan mo lang kunti. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, with the permission of our uh, Undersecretary, uh, we, we also expressed the full support on the Senate bills. And uh, Yusek Castell has already uh, mentioned all the comments of the DTI. So uh, we thank the good, uh, we thank you and the, all, all the members of the committee. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, matanong lang kita. Uh, does the yeah, Philippine uh, product Standard uh, Bureau, ikaw yung director niyan or uh, yung Bureau Chief? Uh, yes sir, the BPS is uh, Bureau uh, under the Consumer Protection Group uh, of the Department of Trade and Industry, Mr. Senator. Okay, thank you. So as of now, malaman, pwede ba malaman natin kung meron ba kayong plano na baguhin yung standard na yan, i-amend or dagdagan or what, uh, or naka-fix na yan sa, as of now? Right now, sir, uh, our uh, my, my division, uh, the sales conformity division, has already has already drafted the uh, draft department order to implement the newly uh, the, the new standards uh, promulgated already by the DPS. So, uh, with the uh, review and approval of the uh, director and the undersecretary and the our secretary uh, Ramon Ramon Lopez. A new department order may be issued to implement the, the new standards, which are already promulgated by the DPS. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. May we hear from uh, Ms. Marlene Lea Alapidi, the president of Philippine Pyrotechnics Manufacturers and Dealers Association, Incorporated. Are you around, ma'am? Ms. Yes, Chairman. Yes, Chairman. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, you have the floor, ma'am. You have the floor. Okay. Um, maintaining cultural tradition and creating job opportunities for thousands of families can also be achieved as we try to strictly regulate the manufacture, sale, and use of firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices. We have seen a remarkable reduction of injuries in the past years, and we continue to do our part instructing buyers on how to properly use the products 
and reminding the stakeholders on how to safely handle the products too. It can, it can be recalled that the organization initiated the conduct of firework safety seminars in the past and was eventually adopted by the Firearms and Explosives Office as a requirement to ensure that the stakeholders are reminded of their responsibilities before they operate. Restrictions to light in their own backyard, even with big open space, especially in the provinces, does not only deprive them to bond with their family members, but also forcing them to the community display area that could put, put, put people to be victims of criminal activity. Moreover, larger concentrations of people means a greater responsibility to manage, to maintain social distancing, and implement health protocols. Marami po ang mawawalan ng kabuhayan dahil ito po ang industriya na hindi kailangan na degree holder ka anuman ang edad. Kasarian ay pwede kang magtrabaho. It can also be recalled that last last year we were here we were affected by the uh, implementation of the ban for NCR because apparently they are uh, our 50% clients so ang tanong ko lang po sa ating mga mambabatas ano po ang gagawin namin sa mga isinoli sa amin because they were not able to light the firecrackers and the pyrotechnic devices that they bought last year. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. We will hear your plight uh, loud and clear. That's why we are having this hearing para makonsider lahat ng inputs natin. Uh, thank you po. Maraming salamat. And uh, uh, Senator Joel Villanueva, you, you want to say something? Chairman, uh, I, I shared the sentiments of uh, our uh, friends from the pyrotechnic industry. Um, you know, Mr. Chair, uh, to be uh, very be, uh, very frank about it, uh, fireworks has been uh, part of our lives, uh, especially in uh, Bulacan. Uh, we live with this. We we we. Um, we, every time we thought about our uh, childhood memories, there's a lot of uh, good memories with with, with, the fire, with, with fireworks, uh, New Year celebration, etc. Mr. Chairman. So every time we talk about banning, every time we talk about the stigma of firecrackers na nakakamatay, nakakasunog, and yet hindi ma-substantiate ng mga data. Uh, in fact, Mr. Chairman, every New Year, Mr. Chairman, sa amin, Pagkatapos ng uh, New Year celebration, pumunta ka dun sa mga hospital sa amin sa Bukawi, halos wala, wala hong, ano eh, casualty. Bakit po kaya? Siguro dahil sanay yung mga taong magpaputok, sanay humawak ng uh, fireworks, uh, naturuan sila ng maayos, uh, kinalakihan nila kasi na bawal itong ganito, bawal itong ganyan. At hindi natin sinasabing perfecto yung industriya, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Sana nga, makikita niya, may mga tahi po ako dito, Mr. Chairman. Yung bahay po namin sa Bukawi, kapitbahay namin, sumabog. Basag ho lahat ng aming uh, uh, mga glasses sa bahay. At may mga tahi po ako sa, sa katawan because of that. No? So again, this is not a perfect industry. It needs help. And uh, every time you talk about livelihood of our kababayan, syempre, Mr. Chairman, sensitive po ito. Uh, kaya importante talaga na Sa pagdinig na ito ay uh, marinig natin yung uh, maayos na plano, ano yung ginagawa nung mga nakaraang uh, 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 taon, paano ini-implement itong uh, mga panuntunan, ating mga batas, at paano ito na improve Kasi Mr. Chairman, kung for example today, Mr. Chairman, you and I were so disappointed to hear that there's no roadmap for, for this, and then the data that we're looking for is not available yet, uh, hindi natin ma-discuss properly and uh, uh, sa matalinong pamamaraan kung paano natin ito ma-address ng gusto kung wala itong mga data na ito. So, uh, I hope Mr. Chairman that uh, we look into this and uh, 
I fully trust your leadership as the chair of this uh, public order uh, committee, uh, this joint uh, committee hearing. And uh, I still look forward, Mr. Chairman, of coming up of a law that we will all be proud of and at the same time we'll be able to help our uh, country and people. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Joel Belaniba. Rest assured, please uh, tell your uh, constituents uh, in Bulacan that uh, we will deal with this uh, uh, legis legislation uh, fairly and uh, we will listen to all the sides. Thank you. Uh, we, we have here from DOH, Anjel uh, Pabakayo, ma'am, Dr. Ann Isabel Gonzalez Andres. Good afternoon po, Mr. Chair. Okay, ma'am. Uh, you, you have the floor, please. Uh, you have the floor. Thank you, Pop. The Department of Health strongly supports the above-mentioned measures which seek to regulate the sale, manufacture, distribution, and use of firecrackers and other pyrotechnic devices to ensure the health and safety of the public. Firecrackers have chemical components and combustion products that induce adverse impact to health and air quality. During fireworks displays, the suspended particulate matter and air pollutants increase to unprecedented levels that can cause throat, nose, and eye complications. Among the harmful chemicals and substances of firecrackers include cadmium that may cause lung irritation, chromium that can cause skin damage and hypersensitivity, and carbon monoxide that exposure may lead to anoxia of the brain nervous system, and heart. Similarly, the prolonged exposure and inhalation of chemicals during the manufacturing process of firecrackers may pose danger to health of workers when no protective equipment is used. Moreover, noise pollution from the blaring explosion of fireworks, which can exceed to 140 decibels, has harmful effects on health. Noise beyond 85 decibels can lead to restlessness, temporary or permanent hearing loss, high blood pressure, and sleep disturbance. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources determined that the standard noise level for an ambient environment is only at 60 and 50 decibels during day and nighttime, respectively. In the country, the fireworks-related injuries from December 21, 2020 to January 6, 2021 recorded 123 reported cases, which is 79% lower than the five-year average. Notwithsta notwithstanding this development, the department aims to achieve zero fireworks-related injuries to ensure the health and safety of the public. In, th in view of these, the Department of Health has no objections to the immediate passage of these measures into law. The department recommends the adoption of Senate Bill No. 517, which amends Republic Act 7183 to classify firecrackers and pyrotechnic devices according to its appropriate uses. The measure likewise provides alternative livelihood programs through the Department of Labor and Employment to mitigate the potential impact to the registered firecracker manufacturers and retailers. Signed by the Secretary of Health, Francisco T. T. Duque III. That's all, Your Honor. Thank you, ma'am. Marami po for that input. Uh, uh, Senator Bilen, again, you, you are yeah. next. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just quick questions to the depart our friends from the Department of Health. I may have failed to uh, to uh, to catch that uh, figures, ma'am, that you you mentioned. Uh, w when you talk about injuries caused by fireworks, how many injuries were caused uh, by fireworks and pyrotechnics in the past five years? You said. Please uh, respond, ma'am. Doctor. Sorry, sir. Sir, in the average for five years, po, uh, one hundred, uh, seventy-nine percent lower, po. That's twenty fifteen to twenty nineteen, po. That's the average seventy per seventy-five. Sorry, seventy-five percent. Seven, seven, seventy-nine, sir. Seventy-nine percent. That's a great number, no? Seventy-nine yes, percent for the past five years. It's been going down seventy-nine percent, but. Uh, what is the figure that you're talking about? This is not by hundreds and thousands. Hindi naman, sir. Um, 
kung ang titignan po natin is the number of cases, it's 469 cases po. Ito po yung average. 469. That's the average. Because I have a data here, injuries caused by firecrackers, fireworks, pyrotechnics in the Philippines. From 2015 of 839, naging 50 na lang noong uh, 2021. Uh, if you look at the... Uh, the data, uh, this data came from, from, from news reports, so okay, that's why I'm trying to, to double check. No, it's not even a thousand in 2015, it's 839, tapos 2021 50. I'm not sure about this data, kaya I, I, I'm asking, but now, uh, it's good to know that 79% uh, down, no, yung injuries caused by firework. Now, ang next question, ko, ma'am, is uh, of these figures that you're talking about. What are the shares of injuries caused by fireworks and pyrotechnics that are smuggled from other countries? One, two, locally produced but did not bear uh, PS markings from DTI, and three, were not in the list of legal fireworks. Do we have that data, ma'am? Um, sir, ang data po na meron lang tayo is between the legal and illegal fireworks po. Pero hindi po kasama kung imported po siya or may PS markings, gano'n po sir. Legal and illegal lang. So sige po, yes, pag-usapan natin yung legal and illegal. Ilan po yung na-aksidente ng legal fireworks at na-aksidente ng illegal fireworks? Sir, for 2020 po, mas malaki po yung percentage na na-aksidente with the legal fireworks. Sir, I'm sorry, but Wala po akong exact number dito. Only the percentage po. Nako, mahirap po. So again, uh, wala, wala din po Pero we can provide, smart. sir. We can provide po the exact uh, number po. Between sige, legal po, and illegal. Hindi na, na lang po tayo. No? So, kasi yo, parang in my own personal observation, and uh, I don't know if you would agree with me, yung illegal firecrackers, lalo na yung uh, produce and did not have or did not bear the PS markings of DTI, eh yan po, eh, mas malaki ang considerable share of uh, fireworks injuries. And, and, and so, again, uh, I'm, I'm just stating facts, Mr. Chairman, kung ganun ang uh, situation, unfortunately, uh, nabe-blame pa yung mga may lisensya, na nagpakahirap kumuha ng lisensya, at masiguro na tama yung mga binebenta po nila. So, this is a good discussion, Mr. Chairman, and I hope, again, uh, that our friends from DOH could give us some uh, figures on this to, uh, to, to assess uh, wisely uh, what is going on and how we can uh, go over this. Thank you, Mr. Chair, again. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat, uh, Senator Joel Villanueva. Maraming salamat. Uh, next, may we hear from Mr. Uh, Celso Cruz? May pahabol ka daw, sir. Go ahead. The Chairman Emeritus of Philippine Pyrotechnics Manufacturers and Dealers Association Incorporated. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Yes. Ito ko lang yes, sir. na for the past 30 years, ang amin pong asosasyon ay matagal nang nakikipag-ugnayan sa Philippine National Police and all other agencies with regards to the development, to the improvement of our industry. Mula po nung January 30, 1992, sinimulan na namin yan na lahat ng mga pagbabago para gumanda ang takbo ng ating mga produkto, mga produkto para mas maging safe ang ating mga manufacturer ay ginawa na po namin. Nagpadala na po kami ng mga scientists dito sa Pilipinas para matulungan itong ating mga manufacturers. Alam niyo po itong hanap buhay na to, pyrotechnics, ito po ay nangangailangan ng science and technology. Kaya po, itong nakaraan dalawang taon, na kinausap po namin sa Secretary de la Peña ng DOST, at nagkaroon kami ng pagkakataon na magsama siya ng isang scientist sa training namin sa Japan para po maintindihan ang, ang usapang, usapang fireworks sa buong daigdig. At after that, 
Nagkaroon na po sana siya ng strategic study kung paano may i-adapt ito sa Pilipinas. Unfortunately, ay nagkaroon nga po kasi ng order ang ating presidente kaya hindi na po tinuloy ni Secretary de la Peña. So, ang sinasabi po namin dito, yung nung araw, 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, na napakaraming na susugatan, kung sumabog, sampo, dalawang po ang patay, tapos lahat ng mga produkto, wasak ang kamay, wasak ang ba, wasak ang muka, hindi na po nangyayari yan after the inaction of the law, 7183. Kaya lang, marami pa rin pong pagbabago. Kung nakikita nyo ngayon, narinig nyo kanina, nagsasalita ang ating FPO, nagsasalita ang ating DTI, DPS, eh, ang tanong po ba eh, kiliwaliwanag nung batas, Section 12 ng RA 7183, the PNP shall be the administrator of this act. Napakaliwanag po, special law ito, na ang PNP ang umahawak. Eh, biglang ito po ang DTI, BPS, at sabi nila, eh, hindi, ano yan, kailangan dumaan kayo sa amin at kung wala kayong Uh, certification namin, eh kukumpis kayo na, namin kayo. Alam niyo po, ganyang kagulo yung aming anak buhay. Kaya nangangailangan talaga ng pagbabago. At kasama po doon sa aming recommendation ay magkaroon ng Pyrotechnics Regulatory Board. Gaya po ng ginawa namin sa Bulacan, meron kami Pyrotechnics Regulatory Board at yun po ang magtatakda at magsasabi kung sino at anong klaseng paputok o pailaw, fireworks or pyrotechnics ang allowed. Alam niyo po, yung DTI, nangopya lang po kasi yan ng international standard, hindi naman nila pinag-aralan. Alam niyo, doon sa international standard na kanilang ina-apply ngayon, may nakalagay doon, bangers. Alam niyo po yung bangers, yun po ang paputok sa ibang bansa. Ang tawag, bangers. May specified formulation yan. Nakalagay dyan, uh, potassium nitrate formulation only. So, ina-ada po ba yan ng DTI? Hindi naman po nila ini-inspection yan in terms of how the manufacturers uh, mix their uh, explosive composition. Wala po po silang ganyan eh. Ang dapat po natin ipasok nga, eto nga, eto itong Department of Science and Technology na ang ganda na po sana ng aming headway, magpapadala sila ng mga limang scientists sa United Kingdom para nga po magkaroon tayo ng experts sa pyrotechnics dito sa Pilipinas. Unfortunately po, binigay po yan natin, alam niyo naman sa Firearms and Explosive Office, kaya lang Medyo kulang po sila ng expertise eh. Kaya matagal na namin ini-encourage, kailangan magkaroon ng expertise along this line. Pero dahil nga hindi matupad po ito, kaya ni-involve na namin itong DOST. Kaya with that, kung kasama po ang DOST, DTA, PNP, and the association, yung po ngayon ang magsasabi what is an approved fireworks and a disapproved fireworks. So, with that, isa lang po ang kanan namin. Hindi po nag-aaway yung DTI, hindi po nag-aaway yung PNP, at kami sa asosasyon, sa industry, ay sunod po doon sa ganong sistema. So, nakita niyo po, after 30 years, hindi pa po nalilinaw yung sitwasyon na yan. Na hopefully, dahil nga meron tayong proposed amendment to RA 7183, Maisama na po ito at nang once and for all, matapos na po with regards sa mga, mga types of allowed and prohibited fireworks in the Philippines. So, yan po napakalagang gusto namin maisama dito sa inyong legislation. Uh, yun lang po, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you po, uh, Mr. Cruz. Uh... Yung komento. Ah, maraming salamat po. Uh, well taken po yan. That is why nga, if uh, you have observed, I ask uh, yung uh, 
Bureau of uh, Philippine Standards kanina, if uh, do they have plans na baguhin yung kanilang uh, classification standards, yung kanilang uh, criteria, or yung lalo-lalo yung pagbigay ng mga pangalan, pag-classify, dahil nga uh, I have observed na mukhang uh, a pattern nga ito sa ibang bansa. But since, since uh, nakalagay sa batas na ito na bawal tayo mag-import ng uh, finished products na fireworks, pyrotechnics from other uh, countries. So, dapat uh, yung local standards natin ang uh, pagbabasihan. So, I, 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 I agree na dapat din na uh, kinusulta yung uh, uh, Bukawi manufacturers when it comes to classification. Dahil nga, bakit nga nakalagay yung headbangers dyan? Uh, wala pala yan sa ating produkto dito. But anyway, can we have the reaction from uh, Yusik Ruth Castillo? Go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Mr. Chair, uh, it is not DTI. Uh, kasi according to Engineer Cruz, bag, basta na lang tayo naglagay ng standards. Hindi po. It is, under, it is mandated by law. Kaya, uh, and the Bureau of Philippine Standards is the Philippine standards body. Ito po ang nagtatalaga ng standards ng, ng consumer products that you will find in the market. Hindi po ito basta nilagay ng DTI. Pinag-aralan po ito. There is a technical committee on fireworks na mga experts po ang nandyan. Sila po ang nagpromulgate. Well, consisting of the mostly from the private sector, Mr. Chair. Sila po ang nagpromulgate ng Philippine National Standards. Also on the labeling, even without the standards, Mr. Chair, even without 7381, the Consumer Act po mandates all consumer products to be labeled properly. Hindi po yun basta inimpose ng DTI kung hindi mandated po ang DTI na ipatupad yung mga batas existing that will also, of course, cover fireworks. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair, and we're willing to to work with them. Yung mga bagong ilalabas po na Philippine National Standards on additional fireworks, please rest assured that it is not just DTI. We, we have technical experts, Mr. Chair. We have a technical committee that promulgates this. Hindi po natin hinuhugot sa hangin ang standards natin. Opo, kinokopya natin ng international standards because we do not need to reinvent the wheel. Hindi naman po applicable ang isang fireworks sa isang bansa lang. Pare-pareho naman po yan. So if there are international standards, we ad we just adopt them, Mr. Chair. The same thing that we do with all other consumer products na pare-pareho naman po na hindi depende sa climate, hindi kay, hindi depende sa weather ang paggamit. That's that is all for now for DTI, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Ma Yusika uh, Castillo for that uh, uh, response. Uh, we have covered a lot already. Meron pa bang gusto magsalita? At uh, before we uh, suspend this uh, hearing, meron pa ba? I think wala na. Lahat tayo gutom na siguro. <laughs> uh, well, uh, next hearing natin is uh, scheduled on uh, March 9, 2021. 10 a.m. March 9. So, from here, uh, the hearing is hereby suspended. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Senator Villanueva. Yes, uh, I, I, just want to put, I just want to put on record that uh, our chair has been there for quite a long time without eating or having lunch, etc. And still entertaining all of us with his songs and the charm. So I just want to put that on record, Mr. Chairman. We appreciate the uh, hardworking chair of this committee and the... Uh, we are looking forward to uh, another fruitful hearing uh, next time, Mr. Chairman. And uh, just to put on record, we appreciate your uh, presence, your uh, tenacity and passion to really come up with a, uh, a landmark legislation that would help our country and people. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sige, Senator Joel Villanueva, mag-usap lang tayo mamaya doon. Kinantahan ko na nga kayo eh para huwag masyado mainit yung uh, talakayan natin dito. <laughs> Maraming salamat. So, uh, the hearing is hereby suspended until uh, 10 a.m. of March 9, 2021. Maraming salamat ha. Thank you sa lahat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.
Oh, salamat po, Mr. Chair. Salamat, Mr. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, thank you.